All right, folks, it's been a while since we did a uh, pizza video. Those are always really popular. I'm at Aldi, and I found this ready-to-bake pizza crust frozen. So uh, I think we're going to go home and make a pizza. All right, folks, we are home with our pizza dough. This is, uh, the brand is Mama Cozy's, maybe Mama Cozy's, I'm not sure, Pizza Kitchen. Anyway, it says on the instructions here to uh, place dough ball in the refrigerator overnight to thaw. And once thaw, do all these instructions. So we're going to place this in the refrigerator tonight and see what it comes out like. This is from Aldi. Exclusively for Aldi. So, uh, yeah. Uh, contains bioengineered food ingredients. So, uh, sounds pretty scary, huh? Well, let's see. Well, what what of this is bioengineered? Hmm. All right, we'll see uh, what it looks like tomorrow. Clean yourself. Clean yourself like a big boy. Basically, all I've done is keep my promise. It'd be better to hang out with Now, now, today is the All right, folks, we are nice and puffed up here. This is proof to uh, extreme proofing, so let's uh cut into the bag here and get it out on this uh, countertop. I've floured the countertop. Alright, pull this out of the package here. Pretty cool the way they make the uh, the bag where it'll actually uh, absorb the uh, proofing there. Much bigger than the dough ball, so it works out perfect. There we go. Throw some flour up here. We can work with it and uh yeah we'll start uh working our dough here it smells delicious all i'm gonna do is kind of hard to do because i'm trying to keep the camera on tripod i'm just going to kind of work this out to where it fits a pizza pan pulling with my hands Slightly pulling and turning, pulling and turning. All right, so uh, it did overproof a little bit. Got a little stiff with me, but uh, I'm still able to make it work. What I like to do with these uh, doughs like this is uh, par them off a little bit. Because I don't have an oven that's going to get as hot as an actual pizza oven. So, get you some air holes in there. Par bake this for about uh, three or four minutes. I got the oven cranked on uh, 450, and then we'll uh, top it, finish it off. All right, guys, we're doing all all these style pizza. Like these mushrooms come pre-sliced. They're a little thicker than I like for pizza, but uh, hey, they were like a dollar twenty-nine, dollar nineteen, pretty reasonable. Bell peppers don't look as good as like a major store does. A little bit shriveled up, but hey, made it work. Onions, of course, pretty cheap there, and then uh, still buying an expensive uh, yeah, sauce for your pizza. Let's get just the tomato sauce. This was like thirty-nine cents, I believe. We're gonna fix it up. I'll show you how to make your pizza sauce. All right, so super simple here. All you need is your uh, little bowl here. Get your sauce out, pour it in. You're gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning. Okay, I bought this at Aldi, I believe. Dollar for Italian seasoning, it lasts forever. And then uh, I got some Aldi uh, garlic powder. Yeah, this is all Aldi product. Put garlic powder in there. So, add a little bit of salt to this. And I, uh, I got the Morton salt here, uh, grinder that I like. And then a little Aldi black pepper grinder here, see, like so. Another store brand is Stone Mill, so a little uh, 
uh, black pepper, salt, garlic, Italian seasoning. This is all all the products, all super inexpensive. All right, just mix that up good. You're ready to do your pizza right there, man. That's your pizza sauce. You ain't gotta spend three or four dollars buying a jar of pizza sauce. Thirty-nine cents, man. In this day and age, when you can find something expensive at the grocery store, do it. And uh, this will taste great. Just t try a dip of it. Mmm, tastes great. All right, we parted that pizza crust off. Only for about two or three minutes. I didn't want it to cook. I just wanted to get it where it'll hold the sauce without seeping into it. Folks, there we are. The pizza's out of the oven. It's got a nice crust on it, but not over crusted. Let's see what the bottom looks like. See how there? Oh yeah, it looks beautiful. Okay, so uh, pizza's ready. And I uh, want you put the uh, cheese and the sauce on the, uh, the world's your oyster. You can do whatever you want. It's a blank canvas. I had this uh, Canadian bacon, so uh, yeah, why not? A little prosciutto. You can literally put whatever you like on there. Cheers, everybody. And this is going to be hot as hell. I should probably let it cool off a little bit, but I'll see the steam coming off. As a matter of fact, I think I am going to let it cool off just a hair before I bite into it. So, anyway, the main thing here is we're trying to see what this crust tastes like. If it's worth buying for you guys, you folks. Mm. That is a fantastic crust. Hmm. It's a lot better than I thought, of you, Mrs. Jeff. What do you think? It's crunchy. It's got a nice crunch, but a nice give to it still. Mm, it's really good. Hmm.